in the area of causal research, um, just like the name is telling you causal, we were trying to find cause and effect relationships. And so basically there's five different types of causal research we might be engaged with. Um, we have two different types of experiments. We have laboratory experiments, field experiments, and we have three different types of test markets that we're going to talk about. In the area of experiments, uh, we have two different types, a laboratory experiment and a field experiment. And really this is um, self-explanatory in terms of a laboratory experiment is creating a, a situation with exact conditions that um, are controlled and some variables are going to be manipulated. Um, but it's in a controlled environment where a field experience is actually going to be in uh, a real environment still trying to control some of the variables. We talk about market testing. We have three different market testing items that we're going to be looking at. We have uh, standard test markets. Um, this is where a company is going to sell a product through its normal distribution channels. Um, this is something that McDonald's will do. And so what they will do is if they're rolling out a new product, they will pick a certain amount of stores that they're going to test market the product at. Uh, one time I was uh, traveling at the drive-thru and I uh, stopped at McDonald's that had the McPizza. And so they had X amount of locations that had this McPizza. And so I ordered the McPizza and then with the McPizza they had a comment card. And so you filled out the comment card and you mailed that in and that's how they uh, gained information about their products. Um, we talk about controlled test markets. This is going to be conducted by an outside uh, firm that can guarantee distribution. And so let's look at uh, one of the examples the book gave was this idea of maybe in a grocery store where I might have X amount of grocery stores that I have guaranteed shelf space for and I'm putting your product in that shelf space and creating a point of purchase display and we can track sales and our most important piece was not only did people purchase it, but moving forward, did they come back to purchase it? That's really the item that um, we were looked for there. Uh, and then item three is a simulated test market where we are um, basically have a computer model that we're inputting information into who's our customer, what the product is, and then we're trying to make, uh, the computer will make predictions for us.